I'm about to do your Pisces January 2021 love reading and in this reading we're going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest. Pisces, how is it going? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name is Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Pisces love reading video. If this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of the Pisces love readings I post for you every week. Now let's get on with this Pisces reading for today because today we're going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest. And I'm going to do that by pulling one card for the mutual point of interest between the two of you. Then I'm going to get three cards for you Pisces, three cards for your person, and I'm going to clarify everything with the second deck to see if we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. Now keep in mind that this is a general reading which means that I'm not tapping into your specific energy as an individual person. I'm tapping into the collective of Pisces people that I'm getting messages for, which means that it's not even possible for this reading to resonate with literally every single Pisces on the whole planet all at the same time, because I'm not reading for every single Pisces on the planet. I'm reading for the very specific collective of Pisces people that I'm supposed to get messages for. Now, because it's a general reading, it also can mean that the energies can get flip-flopped and reversed around backwards, especially for cross-watchers, which means if you're not a Pisces and you just have an interest in a Pisces, and that's why you're watching this reading to kind of figure out what's going on with them, I'm totally cool with that. But you just got to keep in mind that especially for you cross-watchers, the energies can get reversed around backwards, which means you just got to take it as it resonates. Now, regardless of how this reading resonates for you, you still probably want to check your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign videos, just because they can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation, and you can find the links to those videos in the description box down below. Now, enough yakking, let's get on with this Pisces reading. Let's start by getting one card to represent the mutual point of interest between Pisces and their romantic person of interest for January 2021, please. What is the... Okay, we got that. Let's get three cards for you, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces as it relates to their romantic person of interest and the connection between them for January 2021? Okay. Let's get three cards for your person. What's going on with Pisces romantic person of interest? Oh, that was pretty quick. I got all three of them like instantaneously, it seems like. All right. Now, on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of this reading is the Hanged Man, which is the Pisces Major Arcana card. So here, here you are showing up in your own reading immediately, which is usually a pretty good sign. The Hanged Man, like I said, is Pisces energy. This represents progress being halted, no forward movement, things being stagnated. Now, the other side of this Hanged Man card is he's hanging upside down, and he's doing that because he's looking at things from different perspectives than he would normally look at things, different points of view, different angles than he would normally look at things through. And he's doing that trying to gain enlightenment on something. He's trying to figure out what to do moving forward from here. So that's the overall energy of the whole reading. The mutual point of interest. This is shared energy between the both of you. So this is energy that's affecting you both. It's got you both thinking, feeling, or acting this way mutual point of interest between you guys for January 2021 is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> this represents some sort of heavy burden that's being carried by both of you. Now, it's a ten, and in tarot, tens are completion. So this could represent the ending of some heavy burden. You guys getting to a spot where you can lay this heavy burden down. If you haven't gotten there already, this is telling me that you probably will soon be getting to the spot where this heavy burden gets laid down. Let's clarify this. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands for the mutual point of interest between Pisces and their romantic person of interest. Okay, let's get one more to clarify this Ten of Wands. Okay, it flipped over in the deck here. There we go. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, 
We have the Sun card. This is Leo energy. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is happiness, joy, abundance, bliss, harmony. So whatever this heavy burden is, whatever's got progress halted and stagnated for right now, looks like we're coming to a time where this burden's going to be laid down and we're going to be stepping into a spot of having like sheer happiness and joy. Like this is literally the best card you can get in tarot. Right under that we have the Queen of Cups, which can be Cancer energy. It could also be Pisces energy. This is someone who has a lot of love and emotions to give, someone who's very in touch with their emotions, someone who's very intuitive. This could be representing you, Pisces. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Leo. You could be dealing with the Cancer or another Pisces, it would appear. I got another Leo card out here. Let's see. I'll call more out as I see him here. This is telling me that there's a lot of love and emotions in this connection. Even though there's some heavy burden, even though there's some progress being halted right now, there is a lot of love and emotions in this connection. And it looks like there's a desire to step into this full energy. This is card zero of the major arcana. This is the card that starts the whole tarot deck off. This is like that zero represents absolutely nothing. And the potential for everything all at the same time. This is an energy of taking the leap of faith. It's about not needing to know what all the steps are from beginning to end before you take that first step. Not needing to know what the outcome is going to be before you guys take this first step. It's about you guys just having the blind faith to leap off the cliff and figure out how to grow your wings on the way down. This is like some new beginning in something here. It has a lot of stability behind it. The Queen of Pentacles, this is... This is someone who is very grounded, very stable, very abundant and prosperous. This is like a loving, nurturing type energy. Hmm. Getting the feeling, though, that you guys are waiting on something, though. There's a Three of Wands here, too. This is Aries energy. This is a, like the beginning stages of manifesting something. Like you've chosen the path that leads you to the world that you want. You've even started down that path already. You're taking steps down that path and you have this positive expectancy again this is mutual energy shared by both of you so you guys both have this positive expectancy that something good is going to come out of this connection it just hasn't materialized in the physical 3d reality yet you're still waiting on it to appear so this is an energy of like waiting on something with this positive expectancy that something good is going to happen <clears throat> something that's going to lead to a lot of happiness here now to clarify this Ten of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Four of Cups. Now this Two of Pentacles can be Capricorn, this can be Leo energy, this can be Scorpio, wait, Cancer energy, excuse me. So you could be dealing with any of these signs. Again, this is a general reading. You could be dealing with literally any sign. I'm just calling out the ones that are prominently sticking out to me here. This Two of Pentacles is about some sort of a decision. This is a card of balance, but it's more about being off balance, trying to regain your balance, trying to maintain your balance. It's like a one foot in, one foot out type energy where you're kind of like, you guys are both weighing the pros and cons to something. You're weighing your options here. You have some choice to make and you're not 100% sure what to do. That could in and of itself be what the heavy burden is. That could be why progress is halted, why things are stagnated right now. <clears throat> Next we have this Seven of Wands energy. Again, this is Leo energy. This is about being walled off and defensive, but it's also about being willing to fight for what it is that you actually desire, both of you. Not 100% sure what to do, being burdened by that, but realizing how much happiness, how much love and emotions are here if you could just take the leap of faith. And both of you look like being willing to fight for what it is that you want. And we've got this Four of Cups energy. This is Cancer energy. This is... Sometimes this is emotional discontentment. Like not being fully happy with what you have. Like you can see this person has three full cups of love. It's just not cutting it for them. And they're daydreaming about this other thing that might bring them more happiness, more fulfillment. Oftentimes for me though, this represents that there's a love offer already on the table between the two of you 
it just hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. It's just been left kind of hanging here in the air, which is probably what's going on. Do I accept this love offer? Don't I? Or this could be about you guys both wanting to make a love offer to each other and just aren't able to decide should I or shouldn't I? Weigh in the pros and cons, weigh in the options about that. It looks like all you really know is that this is a burden. Progress being halted here is a burden and you guys are willing to fight for what it is you want. Now, that's the mutual energy between you, Pisces. In your energy, you have the Page of Wands, the Eight of Coins, and the Five of Coins. So this Page of Wands, this is, pages are messengers, so this is news and messages of passion and desire. This can also represent, we saw the Fool card a second ago somewhere, yeah, this, this is the Minor Arcana version of the Fool card. This is about taking the first steps down a brand new path towards something you have a lot of passion and desire for. Tell me more about this Page of Wands for Pisces, please. Why is the Page of Wands here for Pisces in January 2021? Let's get one more, please. Hmm. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. So this is the... Hey, what's up, buddy? Hi. Uh -huh. this, come here. This is my son, Dylan. Say hi to Pisces. Hi, Pisces. He's eight years old. What are you playing here? Eight ball pool. Eight ball pool on his Android tablet. I'm doing Pisces reading here, so as soon as I get done, we'll do something, okay? Okay. All right. Sorry about that. It's my little buddy here. Um, two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We're clarifying the page of Wands passion news and messages of passion and desire taking the first steps down a new path towards something there's a lot of passion and desire for this two of wands is a crossroads it's a fork in the road it's a decision point about which path leads you to the world that you want and which path do you need to leave behind taking the first steps down a new path so you're at this decision point about which path do you go down which path do you leave behind something coming to an end here i feel like you are making a decision if you haven't made it yet you're going to be making a decision soon to end something this ten of swords is a swift ending to something sometimes it's an ending you don't see coming hence the swords going into the guy's back sometimes this is an ending in betrayal regardless of what this is something is coming to an end and i feel like it's like there's a path you need to leave behind and you're leaving it behind you're putting an end to that going down a path that leads you towards the Ten of Pentacles, which is most people's goal in life. This is maximum stability, maximum abundance, maximum prosperity. This can be like the combining together of two people, two families, all their assets, all their resources to make something very stable, very abundant, very prosperous. This is like building a legacy. So I feel like you're, you're having to choose here which path to go down and you're putting an end to something and going down the path that leads you toward what you actually want. Just don't know if you've actually made the decision to do it just yet. We've got progress being halted. We've got you being in some, both of you being in some heavy burden. Both of you weighing your options. It looks like there's a cup of love, like an offer of love on the table already between the two of you. And neither one of you has accepted it or rejected it yet. <clears throat> Now, to clarify this page of wands, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Ten of Cups. So we've seen the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Now we've got the Ten of Cups. We've got, we've seen all four, excuse me, we've seen all four tens. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm glad I picked those up because right under the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords, a decision needing to be made. Only it's not being made, either because you don't have all the information you need to make this decision, or there's something that you can't see, hence that blindfold, or maybe even something that you don't want to see, like something you don't want to look at that's preventing you from making the decision. Either way, there's a decision that needs to be made. We've got two twos right here, and we've got another two here, so that's two, two, two. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't think you've made the decision yet. Clarify this page of wands, the first card we have is the five of pentacles, which is also the last card that we're going to clarify in your energy. 
This is a card of abandonment. It's about being cast aside. It's about being left out in the cold. This is a card that tells me that there was some sort of a breakup for you. <clears throat> that could be what you're putting to an end. There could be some breakup happening. This could mean you're leaving someone out in the cold or that someone left you out in the cold and it's left you at this crossroads in your life. That could be part of the burden and you're finally choosing to end whatever that connection is. I think it's there's some abrupt shift coming here. There's a tower moment here for you. The tower is when something comes apart. Something comes crashing down. It's a very abrupt shift. It's like a foundation rocking event. Now usually it's not some physical structure that comes apart. It's not like your garage explodes all over your backyard into little pieces or anything. This is usually some mental structure that you have. Some like internal belief system, some mental model of the world, like the way you thought things were. Turns out they weren't really that way. Some belief you had that you believed was true turns out not to actually be true. And that causes this abrupt shift in the way you think, the way you're viewing things, changes the game for you. And I don't really feel like this is a bad tower. I feel like there was someone who's left you out in the cold. You're at this spot where you're trying to take steps down a new path. Maybe this thing happened in the past and someone left you out in the cold in the past. And that's still having some sort of effect on you that could be why progress is halted that could be part of the burden that you're carrying and why you haven't accepted this love offer why you're still weighing the pros and cons why you're still at this crossroad i'm feeling like whatever that was you're putting that to an end and that's changing the game for you i don't feel like this is a negative tower at all i feel like this is a good change for you because it's leading to the ten of cups this is like the happy fairy tale ending card you're taking steps down a new path towards something you have a lot of passion and desire for. You're choosing the path that leads you to the world that you want, which, like I already said, leads to the Ten of Pentacles, financial, like, material world dream that everyone has. And then the other end of that dream, like this happy love connection where you're both happy, you're both completely in love together, like the happy family card. I mean, there's a rainbow and ten full cups of love here. This is this is very, very good energy here. Now, the next card in your energy, Pisces, is the Eight of Coins. This is a card that represents working on something or being willing to put in the work on something. Tell me about this Eight of Coins for Pisces, please. Why is the Eight of Coins here for Pisces? Okay, there's one. Wow. Well, well, well. Okay. All right. On the bottom of the deck, there's that fool again, taking that leap of faith, not needing to know what all the steps are before you take the first step, not needing to know what the outcome is before you take the first step. Just screw it. I'm jumping off the cliff, and I'm going to figure out how to work this as I go. Taking the first steps down a new path. Again, minor arcana version of this full card. Now here we are stepping into the full energy of the full. Queen of Pentacles. This I can't help but feel like this is you, Pisces. Like a loving, nurturing type energy. Very grounded, very stable. Like able to take care of the Ten of Pentacles, able to take care of and manage the assets and resources of the home and the family. Queen of Cups, I know this is you. This is, you have a lot of love and emotions for your person. You have a lot of love and emotions to give. You're very intuitive. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Clarify this Eight of Coins, you putting in the work on something or being willing to put in the work on something. We have the Sun. We have the Lovers. We have Justice. And we have Judgment. First thing I notice, all four major arcanas here. This is very powerful energy, very significant energy. This is a, a big time event taking place in your life right here. Something very very important almost feels like divinely guided here yeah it really does we've got the sun here leo energy the happiest card in the whole tarot deck happiness joy abundance you're willing to put in the work 
to get your happiness, to get what... This can also, in a love reading, represent that you view your person as your source of happiness, as like the sunshine that lights up your life. This is very happy energy. We've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Sun, two of the best cards you can get, and now we've got the Lovers next. This is Divine Counterparts. This is a Divine Connection, like Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Connection. This is a very powerful connection between the two of you. This is I breathe you in, you breathe me in, we're soulmates, we're twin flames, whatever label you want to place on that. A very, very powerful connection. This usually represents two people who are probably supposed to be together. At the very least, you bring each other a lot of happiness. This is Gemini energy. So we've got Leo energy here with the sun, Gemini energy here with the lovers. Pisces energy here with this Ten of Cups. Now we've got Libra energy with the Justice card. This is a card of balance. This is about doing the right thing, the fair thing, the just thing. This is telling me that this connection that you're willing to work on brings you happiness. It's a very strong, powerful, divinely guided love connection, and it is the right thing. It is the thing that is supposed to happen. Then we have Judgment which is another card that represents the divine. There's an angel playing the trumpet on this card. This is about a decision, like you casting your own final verdict and judgment, making some sort of decision about something, about putting the work in on something that leads to your happiness and a strong, balanced love connection. This can also represent sometimes a card of second chances. If you guys have been together before, this would be like second chances, resurrecting the situation, bringing this back to life transforming it in a way that's never going to be the same again. It's entirely possible that this Five of Pentacles energy was maybe your person left you out in the cold in the past. I don't really see how that connects, though. It's like, if they left you out in the cold and it caused a tower moment, how in the hell do you get to the Ten of Cups? I feel like this is something that happened in your past. You were left out in the cold at some point, and it caused a tower moment. Or, or you're... you're taking steps down a new path that's like you're putting this this was in the way this is part of your burden you're putting that behind and that's changing the game for you and it's leading to this ten of cups either way i feel like this is like some sort of higher calling here like this is what's supposed to happen this is you making some sort of a decision like balancing this out we have justice and judgment both about like this is about weighing the options, severing the things that aren't in balance so the right thing happens. Making that decision. Final card in your energy, Pisces, is the Five of Coins, Five of Pentacles. We've already seen that. This is about being cast aside, being left out in the cold. This is a breakup card. <clears throat> Tell me more about this Five of Coins for Pisces, please. I thought so. I thought so. Bottom of the deck, there's that Two of Wands again, which we saw when I was clarifying the Page of Wands, the same column of cards this Five of Pentacles showed up in originally. A fork in the road, a crossroads, a decision point. A decision about which path leads you to the world that you want, and which path you need to leave behind. The path that you need to leave behind is the one that culminated with this you being left out in the cold BS here. To clarify that, we have the Five of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Now, the Five of Swords is a conflict. It's a painful situation. This can be a conflict in words, conflict in communications, like bickering, arguing, bitter words being spoken, them talking to you in a way that's not fair, treating you in a way that's not fair. This is some sort of a painful situation. Hell, I mean, even getting left out in the cold and abandoned creates a painful situation. It could have messed with your stability. Fours are about stability. This is stability of your home life, stability of the family life, stability of the connection between the two of you. And I feel like we're talking about someone who left you out in the cold here and caused a painful situation. Now, the four wands that hold up this canopy also represent 1111, which is sometimes referred to as like the twin flame number, the soulmate number. It really, it's a number about manifesting, like t manifesting your thoughts into the physical reality. I feel like there was some sort of a, when you got left out in the cold, there was some sort of a painful situation around your stability. 
not just of that connection, but of like your actual home life and your, your life in general. And I feel, like I said, that this is about the past. The Six of Cups is a card that represents the past. Reminiscing about the past, thinking about the past, thinking about the way things used to be. This can represent a very strong emotional connection between the two of you here. This can represent someone from your past making a comeback. I'm not really feeling that. I'm feeling like this is telling me that this whole column of cards, like you being left out in the cold, having some sort of a conflict, a painful situation that messed with your stability, this happened in the past. And that's what you're doing right now. You're trying to choose the path that you go down. Do you go down this middle column path that has the sun and the lovers and justice and judgment in it where you're putting in the work to get the world that you want? And the path that you need to leave behind is the path that had this five of pentacles getting left out in the cold, this tower, this five of pentacles again, the five of swords, a lot of conflict that messed with your stability. And this is what happened in the past. That could very well be why for you, things are stagnated, like progress is halted in this connection because of what happened in the past. That could be part of the burden you're carrying. It could be why you haven't accepted this love offer that's on the table already. It could be why you're defensive. It could be why you're off balance and trying to decide, do I or don't I? Should I or shouldn't I? Which, which path do I go down? Can I leave this in the past or, or not? You know, that's kind of what I'm feeling for you, Pisces. Now that's your energy. Let's take a look at your person's energy, Pisces, because they have the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Swords. And this Eight of Cups is Pisces energy again. So we've got Pisces energy on the bottom of the deck. We've got Pisces energy here with this Ten of Cups. We've got Pisces energy here in your person's energy. So they're definitely connected to you here. You're showing up strong in your own reading. Like the other signs that are showing up strong, we have Leo. I've seen that a couple, three times now. We've got Gemini here once. We've got Libra here once. Hmm. We've got a little bit of Scorpio here. We've got some Sagittarius here. Hmm. This Eight of Cups. This is detachment, like emotional detachment physical detachment, physically walking away. The person in this card is walking away from eight full cups of love, and they're doing that because they're not completely happy. They're not fully emotionally content with what they have. They're walking off, going down a new path toward their own emotional happiness, toward their ninth and tenth cup. Tell me more about this eight of cups for Pisces person, please. <clears throat> Why is this eight of cups here? Well, Pisces person, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a frog in my throat here. And why is this Eight of Cups here? Let's get one more card on this Eight of Cups. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So there's some sort of detachment here, some sort of either emotional detachment or physically walking away from you. Regarding the Ten of Pentacles, which is like, maximum stability and abundance like your person is looking for something very stable very abundant this is the combining together of two people two assets their resources to make something very stable and abundant could be your person wanted some stability that's kind of what it's looking like they wanted more stability and that caused them to walk away or at least emotionally detach even though they were stuck in their head about it it's like they were grinding about that on this repeating loop in their mind not really sure what the safe step to take is and feeling stuck trapped and blocked probably because they couldn't have the amount of stability and abundance they wanted yeah you know, they had a decision that they needed to make about whether to walk away or not and it seems like this decision wasn't being made either because they didn't have enough information to make that decision there was something they couldn't see hence the blindfold or something that they just didn't want to look at hmm to clarify this Eight of Cups, we have the Three of Swords, the World, and the Hierophant. <clears throat> this Three of Swords, this is more Libra energy here. This is heartbreak and sadness, sometimes from a third-party energy. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean romantic third-party. doesn't mean this person was cheating on you. doesn't mean you were cheating on them. 
although it can mean that, this is any energy that's not you, Pisces, that's not your person. So, like, working too much, going to school, like, watching too much television, playing too many video games, anything that people do enough of creates its own energy, and that can interfere in a connection. So there's, there is some something that wasn't you, that wasn't this person, that was interfering in this connection, probably preventing this stability, this abundance, causing your person to at least try to make a decision. They're grinding on it, trying to make a decision about whether to walk away, about whether to end this or not, or about whether they can work with you to build something of value, to build something great like this Ten of Pentacles. And it looks like your person, too, was at a crossroads, at a fork in the road, at a decision point about which path leads them to the world they want and which path do they need to leave behind. Now, it looks like, at some point, they chose to walk away. But that was heartbreaking for them. Probably for you, too. That could be what this... Abandonment, this being cast aside, left out in the cold. That could have been the tower moment for you. That could have been. Next we have the world. The ending of one cycle, the beginning of a beautiful new cycle. This represents the four fixed signs of the zodiac. Again, we've got Leo, which we've seen several times. We've got Taurus, which I've got out here once. Yeah, once it looks like. And we've also got Aquarius and Scorpio in this card. But this is the ending of one cycle, the beginning of a beautiful new cycle. Now it looks like what cycle is ending is this idea of walking away and the heartbreak and sadness of that. Which, and the beginning of a new cycle. This could be like, they, they walked away from you and that caused some sort of a tower moment for you or for them or for both. And that cycle is ending and the beginning of a new cycle could be this Ten of Cups, this happy fairy tale ending. Or it could very well be this Hierophant energy, which again is Taurus energy. This is a card of commitment. This is a card of taking things to the next level. So it's looking like they walked away because they, they wanted this stability and couldn't have it. They, they tortured themselves mentally over the decision of whether they should end this with you or whether they should work together to build something with you. And it was heartbreaking for them. And it looks like that that is over. Like, they don't want to walk away. They want to end that cycle, begin a new cycle where there's more commitment, where you guys can take things to the next level. But again, I keep going back to this overall energy of the reading, the hanged man. Progress is halted. There is no forward movement right now. <clears throat> What's up, buddy? I miss coins. Hmm. Oops. Spent all of the coins. Oh, well. It's just a game. It's fine. The next card in your person's energy, Pisces, is the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning in love and emotion. See, I said, like, the cycle of them wanting to walk away is over with. And a new cycle is starting where there's more commitment, where there's taking things to the next level, where there's a new beginning in love and emotions. Tell me about this Ace of Cups for Pisces' person, please. Wow. Let's get one more... Okay, we'll take them. Looks like we're taking a little bit more than one card extra. I normally get three. I just got five. Uh-huh. I see, I see. Bottom of the deck, there's that Queen of Pentacles again. Like I said, I thought this was you earlier. I still feel like this is your energy. A grounded, stable, abundant, nurturing type of an energy. This is like wife material is what this feels like to me. New beginning in love and emotions is what we're clarifying. To clarify it, we got the Fool. I don't know how many times we've seen him. I think it's three or so. I've lost track. We have the King of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. The Seven of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. So, new. this is like a new beginning here. We're clarifying a new beginning in love and emotions. This is taking that leap of faith. I don't need to know how this is going to work. I don't need to know what the outcome is going to be. All I need to know is that I'm jumping, I'm going for it, and we're going to figure this out as we go. King of Cups. This is Pisces energy. They're, they're wanting to take a leap of faith with the Pisces. This is twice Pisces energy has showed up in your person's side of the table. Pisces energy all over the place here. 
this person has a lot of love and emotions for you. Now, they don't necessarily outwardly express how they feel. The King of Cups doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. He doesn't always publicly broadcast his emotions. But he definitely has those emotions for you. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Next, we have the Ten of Wands, which is the mutual point of interest between the two of you. To me, this is hammering home the point that while this whole situation is a burden to you, it's also a burden to them, and that's verified by it showing up specifically in their energy. Again, Sagittarius energy. This is a heavy burden that your person is carrying, but it's a Ten. And in Tarot, Tens are completion. So this represents the ending of that heavy burden. Now, it's laying on the table right next to the world, which is the ending of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. So there's walking away, heartbreak and sadness, like some detachment. There's a burden. I feel like all of that is the cycle that's ending. We do still have the Seven of Cups, though. This is options and choices and confusion about those options and choices. There's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of stuff in these cups, a lot of options. There's a lot of emotions involved. I already saw that here. We've seen the Queen of Cups a couple of times now. There's definitely a lot of emotions involved here. And your person doesn't want to make a mistake, which is probably part of the burden that they're carrying. They're still weighing their options too. I feel like they've already put this love offer on the table and it just hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. They're not wanting to make a mistake. So they're feeling confused. But then we've got this Queen of Wands. This is Leo energy again. This is someone who has a lot of passion and desire for you. The Queen of Wands knows exactly what she wants. And they go after what they want with bold, passionate, fiery determination. She doesn't take no for an answer. And it's very rare that the Queen of Wands doesn't get what she wants. I feel like she's got the, the, your person has this burden that they're carrying. Because they have all this emotions for you. They want to take a leap of faith into a new beginning in love and emotions with you. They're just confused about what to do. I feel like the only thing they really know is how they feel about you. How much love and emotions they have for you. How much passion and desire they have for you. Final card in your person's energy, Pisces, is the Two of Swords. A decision needing to be made, only it's not being made. Either because they don't have all the information they need to make the decision, there's something that they can't see, hence the blindfold, or there's something that they just don't want to look at. We see this Two of Pentacles weighing their options here, trying to make a decision. We have a, a decision that needs made regarding this love offer. It's not been accepted or rejected. It's just been left hanging here in the air. I feel like this is all a heavy burden. Tell me more about this Two of Swords for Pisces person, please. Get one more on this Two of Swords for Pisces Person, please. Why is this Two of Swords here for Pisces Person? Okay. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So, this has got a few meanings. This can sometimes represent trying to get away with something. Lying, cheating, stealing sneaky behavior, deceptive behavior, just overall trying to get away with something. I don't feel that at all. I've seen absolutely nothing this whole time that leads me to believe that. The other meanings for this card are self-preservation, not wanting to be hurt. The whole reason the guy's stealing the swords is because he doesn't want those swords to be used against him. He doesn't want to be hurt by those swords. So he's stealing them to make sure that the swords can't hurt him. Another meaning for this is leaving something behind, as in like he can only carry five swords, he's got to leave the other two behind. I don't really feel that either. I feel like your person tried to leave you behind. They tried to emotionally detach, they tried to walk away, and it was heartbreaking to the point where they wanted to end that cycle and start this new cycle of commitment with you, taking things to the next level, have this new beginning and love and emotions and everything we've covered so far. I feel like this is self-preservation. They're trying to make a decision. They can't make the decision. They don't want to be hurt. What they want is this Ten of Pentacles with you. This combining together of two people, their assets, their resources to make something very stable and abundant. The High Priestess. This is, this is she who knows. This is where your intuition comes from. This is your gut feelings. This is 
This is like divine guidance almost again. We've got the lovers out here, divine counterparts. We've got the sun. We've got judgment, which has an angel, the divine on the card. This feels like divine guidance. Now, in a love reading, this can signify that this connection between the two of you, at least from your person's point of view, is deeper than just something physical. It's deeper than just something emotional. It's, it's a deeper connection than that. Hmm. Now, to clarify this Two of Swords, this decision they need to make, we have the Eight of Swords again. <clears throat> we have Temperance. And we have the Four of Swords. Now, I just got done talking about the Divine, and here we have another Angel on the card. This is, this is Divine too. This Eight of Swords, this is thinking about something over and over again on this repeating loop in their mind. Not sure what the safe step to take is have a decision that needs made, they can't make it. They don't, they don't know what to do, which is why they're grinding on it. But they're feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because of that. Temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. We've seen Sagittarius energy a couple of times. We've seen a bunch of Leo out here. Oh, we've got some Taurus out here. We've got a lot of fixed sign energy, which would be Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, we got a lot of Pisces out here. A little bit of Libra. This is an energy of being patient about something. Your person's trying to be patient here. Not be in any big hurry. This is like blending things together little bits at a time. Taking a step back, looking at the big picture, seeing how's all this playing out, how's all this working out before they come back in and do a little bit more blending to make some like fine-tuning type adjustments. Now, if you notice, there's an angel on this card. She's got a cup of water in one hand and a cup of fire in the other hand, blending together the fire and the water. Which, again, I see Pisces all over the place. I see Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpios out here could be blending that together leo or sagittarius is fire pisces is water it could be it could totally be that and this could just be them being very patient being willing to take things slowly <clears throat> then we have the four of swords this is a card of like choosing to go internal to do some healing to do some thinking about some things to try and figure out what to do moving forward because progress is halted right now things are stagnated and this seems like a heavy burden. Your person doesn't want to be hurt here. They want to build this Ten of Pentacles with you. They feel divinely guided toward you. And I feel like they're going internal trying to figure this whole situation with you out. Now, if you still have questions that you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. And when you do, you'll be taken to more Pisces love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.